Hey, what's up, Vicky? My name is Devin Norton from SEO Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video, and thank you for speaking to me earlier today. I'm gonna briefly show you how to improve your website so you can start bringing in more customers through your website. You're probably wondering why I'm even making this video for you, and it's super simple. There's a lot of small business owners out there that are spending all of their time running their business, taking care of their customers. They typically don't have the time to learn how to make the internet work for them and bring in more of those customers. And typically, the only thing holding them back from hiring a marketing agency is they just don't know who is an expert and who is not. And so I found that by making these attack plans and just giving them away for free, there's still a lot of business owners who end up calling me back and having me do this stuff for them. So if at the end of this all you see I've got some tricks up my sleeve and I can do some real good for your business, just give me a call and we can chat. If you want to take this free information and apply it yourself, that's okay too. This is free education with no strings attached. Um, I'm going to briefly show you how to make your website more of an authority, how to make it more trustworthy, and then how to get ranked in your local map pack rankings. But let's first start by looking at your website. So nobody can die, deny this is a beautiful looking website it looks like it's professionally built uh, it looks fantastic oh it looks like it is professionally built but it looks fantastic <clears throat> now Google doesn't rank you based off how good looking your website is uh, they rank it based off of a couple factors but the biggest one is content they want to make sure that you have more words than your competitors because when plumbers when somebody types in plumber San Antonio uh, they want Google's goals to put them in front of the website that's going to answer their questions now the average website on the front page of Google has about 1,890 words on it. So you're going to want to have anywhere between 1,500 and 2,000. Let's see what you're sitting at. You're currently sitting at 759. So you're going to definitely want to about at least double that, if not a little more, to get yourself up to about 1,500 to 2,000 words. Okay. Also, whatever your image is saved as does count as content. So let's see what this is. Instead of all these numbers and letters, this should be saved as like San Antonio plumbing, plumber San Antonio, stuff like that. Okay. Your main competitors are Blue Frog San Antonio. These guys come up number one when you type in plumber San Antonio. And you can see right away, they got a lot on their page, very dense with content, but they don't have 1,500 words. So you're going to blow them out of the water with that. But their images are saved correctly. So if you look at like even these ones, they have nothing to do with plumbing, but it's still saved as BBBA keyword, right? PHCC. PHCC and then keyword. See that? Let's see what this one is. Plumbing Service San Antonio TX. So keyword and CC logo. So that's going to help you become an authority. After you do that, you need to make yourself trustworthy. And Google determines that by looking at how many other websites are linking to you because in a way that's like that website vouching for you. However, they want to see relevant links. So you're going to get a lot more power from other plumbing companies linking to you than you would from like Pizza Hut linking to you because Google knows you're not a pizza company. So the tool I use to check this out is called Ahrefs. It costs about a thousand bucks a month, but it gives you very valuable data on what's going on in the back end of websites. And so it might be something you want to use to check out your competitors. But it says you guys have been around since May of 2018. You guys have 27 websites linking to you. That is nothing to scoff at. There's a ton of websites out there, who, or a ton of plumbers out there I speak to who don't have websites whatsoever, let alone a website with uh, links. So you're miles ahead of the competition there. Let me show you what goal you're going to have to reach though, if you want to be Blue Frog. So they're sitting at 94 websites linking to them, and they've only been around a little bit longer than you, not that much. So to beat them would be super easy. They're at 94 websites in total. What I would recommend doing is getting yourself to a total of about 110 to 120, and the best way to do that is to copy them. So whatever websites are linking to them, go get those websites for yourself. And the best ones are going to be the ones that have to do with home remodeling, like San Antonio, home and, uh, that, that's not San, that's not home remodeling, but it's relevant. San Antonio, home design, plumbing brothers, solar heater, water heater, water heater, water heater, plumbing, mobile home water heater. Those are going to be the best ones for you. And if you see, if you get the proper content and you have the proper backlinks, you take their traffic. You're currently sitting at 19 traffic. These guys are sitting at 756 traffic. Imagine having that many qualified buyers looking at you. And imagine how much it would cost to have 756 people look at you through like Home Advisor or Angel's List. Keep in mind, people don't look up plumbing for fun. They look it up when they need help. So most of those are, are buyers who need you. Um, they're doing this stuff for free. They're getting all that stuff for free by having the right content and the right backlinks. So by doing those first two tips, that's how you get ranked organically. My third tip might be the most important tip. When somebody types in Plumber San Antonio and they're ready to buy, they call the first plumber that shows up that seems trustworthy. And you want to be that plumber because those are the easiest customers to close. People skip these ads all the time. It could be from bad experiences in the past or they just have ad blockers, what may have you. So the best place to rank yourself is in the Google My Business or local map pack section. Getting here requires having more citations than your competitors, which is anywhere where your name, your address, and your phone number are listed in different directories across the web, such as like Yelp, Yext, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Facebook, Angie's List, Home Advisor. These are all the most common ones. 
The best strategy here is to figure out what directories your competitors are listed in, list yourself in those same ones, but then add a bunch more on top. So like if Mr. Rooter here is in 150 directories, put yourself in like 250, if not 300, okay? That's all I've got for you, Vicky. I hope you found this really informative. As a quick recap, you're going to want to get your website to 1,500, 2,000 words. You're going to want to get a total of 110 to 120 websites linking to you, and I would do that by copying Blue Frog. And then you're going to also want to put your name, address, and phone number in more directories than your competitors. Just make sure it's spelled the same way across the internet so it's all relevant to each other. If you want to take this information and apply it yourself, please do. This is free education. I'm trying to help as many business owners as I can. That's my goal. I just ask you please send me back one sentence of feedback to let me know if you think this information was valuable. If you do want me to help you take care of this stuff so you all can continue running your business you don't have to worry about doing all this, give us a call back. Our phone number is 214-441-6737. Also, if you look at the bottom of the email I sent you, you can also see that phone number right there. But either way, I do appreciate you guys taking the time out of your busy day to watch this video, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.